In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to take a screenshot in ClipChamp. Let's get started. First things first, you'll want to make sure that you're signed into your ClipChamp account. So head over to the ClipChamp website. If you aren't logged in yet, just go ahead and do that now. Once you're all set and inside ClipChamp's interface, you'll want to click on the specific video you intend to capture. This is your starting point for taking a screenshot. Now, here's a bit of a twist. ClipChamp doesn't actually have a built-in screenshot feature, but don't worry. We have a nifty workaround that you can follow easily. This involves using the Windows Snipping Tool, a convenient and reliable alternative. What you'll want to do is access your Windows search bar and type in Snipping Tool. Once it appears, give it a click to open. With the snipping tool open, you'll see a new button. Clicking this button essentially enables the selection tool, allowing you to customize the area of your screen you want to capture. Before you jump into selecting the area, make sure you have ClipChamp open and visible with the exact part of the video you want to grab. Now, head back to your snipping tool and click that new button. The screen will slightly dim, indicating that the selection tool is active. Using your mouse, click and begin dragging to define the size and area of the screenshot you wish to take. It can be as large or as small as you need, depending on how much detail you want to capture. Once you've perfectly defined the area, release your mouse click. This action will freeze that portion of your screen and take the screenshot for you. You'll notice the snipping tool now shows the captured image within its window. You can save, edit, or even annotate this screenshot directly from the snipping tool if you'd like. And there you have it. You've successfully taken a screenshot using ClipChamp and the snipping tool. Remember, although ClipChamp doesn't have this feature natively, improvising with the snipping tool is a great way to still get the job done efficiently. Thanks to this method, you can easily capture and use screenshots without missing a beat in your project workflow. Whether it's for a quick note or a comprehensive project guide, knowing how to capture your screen proficiently can be incredibly handy. I hope this guide has been clear and helpful. Have fun screenshotting and we'll see you in the next tutorial.